हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस देन अवर चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टूडे आई विल बिगिन विद द टॉपिक ऑफ टोटल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इट हैज थ्री टू फोर मेथड इन साइड विच वी यूज टू सोल्व द क्वेश्चन दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ए पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड टूडे आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट द मेथड नोन एज the inspection method and then there are two or three more methods which i will discuss with you one by one in the upcoming videos so let's begin with the video let's discuss about the total differential equations or total parfian differential equations if we are given any differential equation if we have any equation in this form although this is not a differential equation but let's say this particular equation is given p dx plus q dy plus r d z is equal to 0 usually when we solve any given equation especially when we apply charpentier's method in any equation then this type of condition is given in that case or when we apply green's theorem or stokes's theorem and let me tell you i have covered all these topics where i explained this type of integration and i told you one trick and the logic behind it we will understand that here now p dx plus q dy plus r dz equals 0 with p q and r given as the functions of x y z here so this equation is either a parfian equation or total differential equation for example it is given z dx plus z dy Plus two x plus y plus sine z d z is equal to zero, which are examples of total differential equation. Now we will discuss the first method, which is called the inspection method. Right? Whenever a total differential equation is given to solve, the first condition that is given is this particular one, and this condition is called the integrability condition. Right? So whatever total differential equation is given to us here, it should satisfy this particular given condition. So we can solve this. i mean we can integrate this what we need to do is to get rid of dx dy dz this means integration so here we have a condition students have trouble remembering this condition so i'll explain it p q r right x y z like this i'm explaining how to remember this condition first multiply p and differentiate it with respect to it now we will differentiate the next term q with respect to this minus differentiate it with respect to this then del r upon del y then here we'll multiply with q right then we'll differentiate with respect to it so we will get del r by del x minus differentiate with respect to this so del p by del z we get r here now what we will do we will differentiate this with respect to this we will get del p and it is divided by del y minus it will be del q by del x right so this is our method right it means if this condition is satisfied means its value becomes zero hence it means we can solve this here it means we can integrate this this is called the condition for integrability right how do we solve this question let me explain it to you a bit like this this question is given to us and the question is z dx plus z dy right plus this is given as 2 x plus y plus sin z right multiplied by dz equals 0 now students if you will notice the value of p here it is given z right the value of q it is i think z right i think that is also z and the value of r it is given as x plus y and plus sin z now pay attention i am trying to explain the condition to you so what you have to do if in any case you forget the condition then what you will do write x y and z here now what do we do with this we multiply by p and please focus i am explaining the condition to you let me write it over here p is z so p into now we will differentiate it with respect to z which will be 1 minus we will differentiate this with respect to y and we will get 2 and here we will have plus now we will multiply this by q right it means z into then what will we do we will differentiate this with respect to x if we differentiate it will we get 2 minus now we will differentiate this with respect to z right this p will be differentiated with respect to z this will become 1 on differentiating and plus and after that we will get r value of r is 2 x plus y plus sin z right we will get this and now what will be the next term now differentiate it partial differentiation of z with respect to y is 0 minus if we differentiate it then it will become 0 as well 0 minus 0 let's check its value if we solve this we will get minus z we will solve this then z and this is 0 its value is 
this total differential equation that we get its integrable. So, what is it doing with this integrability condition? We know this condition is being satisfied. So, we need to understand this that the condition needs to be satisfied, right? I already showed you the method to remember this condition, right? If you have to apply this in a question, if you are solving this in any exam, it won't be difficult to remember this. I have told you the method, right? And now I will tell you that we have four methods to solve the total differential equation. The first method is the inspection method. The second method is the use of the auxiliary equation. The third method is solution by assuming one variable constant. And the fourth method is the solution of homogeneous equations, right? These four methods can be used to solve any total differential equation. Now, the first method is inspection method. I hope you've studied this in 12th class x dy. Minus y dx upon x square, we can write dy by x. And now, the differentiation of tan inverse y by x is this one, right? You have some specific formulas that you need to remember, like xy dz plus xz dy plus yz dz, right? So, if you do d x y z, we will differentiate each one and you will get this. If we differentiate x square y square z square, we get 2 x dx, 2 y dy, 2 z dz. If we have to differentiate log y by x, we can do it in this way, right? Log x y is done like this. There are some formulas you need to remember, which will help you to directly apply them to solve the question. I will tell you some tricks. You all must have watched my previous videos where I explained Green's theorem, Stokes theorem or Charpet's method. There I used this concept in that video. So, we have a question and we are asked to solve this. First, we will write P here. What is P here? Pay attention. The value of P is yz and plus xyz, right? And what is Q here? This is zx plus xyz. What is the value of R? xy plus xyz. So, this is what we are given. What was the method I explained in previous question? You can write x below this, y below this here and then z here. This is its condition. But how do we apply this condition? I will try to explain. So, first what do we do? Write p into, it will be yz and plus xyz into. Now, what we will do with this term? Pay attention. I will take the derivative of this with respect to z. Then we will get x plus x y minus this term will be. Differentiated with respect to y, then we get minus x. This will be minus x z clear. So, we will get this value. Now plus and what is the next term? It will be q, right? What is the value of q? It will be zx plus xyz, right? Now, we know that r will be differentiated with respect to x. What will we get? We will get y plus. This will become yz minus. We will differentiate this with respect to z. If we differentiate this with respect to z, we will get minus y. This with respect to z will give minus xy, right? This is the value plus what is next r right on multiplying r we get xy and then plus xyz right now what do we do we know that we will differentiate this with respect to y right then we will get z on differentiating plus here what will come xz minus we differentiate this with respect to x this will become z and this will be minus yz now we will check if the value of this is becoming zero or not we first take yz common from here We'll take yz common. This will be 1 plus x, x and x will get cancelled. In this, x also cancels out, but from here we have x common. See, x is also common. This term will cancel out. If we will take x common, so take x here and we get y minus z clear. Similarly, if you look here, then what is coming out common? zx is coming common, right? And this zx is out as common. So we have one remaining plus this will become z and here y is cancelling out from y and here y is also coming out common. So, here this will become z minus x. Is this clear students? In the same way, when you notice here, x, y is coming out common, we will get 1 plus z and z is cancelling out with z and then here z is also coming out as common. So, z will be left and now what will this become? Pay attention here. If z is common, then this becomes x minus y clear. There is one small correction here. If we take z x common, then it will be 1 plus y. Please correct this here. The rest is all correct. Now, x, y, z is in all of them. Take x, y, z common. Now, we multiply 1 with both of these, we get y minus z. If we multiply 1 with this, we get z minus x. Here, we will get x minus y. If we multiply this x, we will get plus x, y minus x, z. Now, when you multiply this by y, then it will be y, z minus y, x. Clear? If z will be multiplied by this, so this will be z, x minus z, y. Right? Now, you will notice that these terms are cancelling out. 
this with this, this with this, y with y and xy will also somewhere get cancelled with xy. These terms are also getting cancelled. x, z, y, z are also cancelling themselves. So, all terms got cancelled out and becomes 0. This means that this condition is being satisfied. This means it will be integrable. Now, if it's integrable, you might wonder how we do the integration. What are we going to do? This question that's given here. If you go ahead and divide this whole equation by x, y, z, divide this whole by x, y, z. Because it's the inspection method, so you need to focus and notice that x, y, z is common here. It's not here, so if you divide it here, this will become 1 upon x and it will be plus 1 and this becomes dx. We will divide this by x, y, z, right? The whole equation will be divided by x, y, z because it is 0, right? So we can divide this and then what will we get? Pay attention. It will be 1 upon y and plus 1 multiplied by it will be dy plus this will be 1 by z plus 1 dz is equal to 0. If we directly integrate this, now this has become integrable. It will become log x plus x. If we integrate this, then it will be log y plus y. If we integrate this, it will become log z plus z equals to c, right? So, log x, log y, log z. So, this will be log x, y, z plus x plus y plus z equals to c, right? So, now what we will get this value as? We will get this as the answer. And in this way, we can solve it. But if this equation is asked in an exam, so, first you need to check this condition. If you are preparing for any competitive exams, then you don't need to think that much. And you can just solve it. Now, the next question. Let's try to understand it. This is given here. Look, here we are given total differential equation. And then what is the value of P? The value of P here is, is yz plus 2x and we have q as zx minus 2z, right? And the value of r is xy minus 2y, right? Now, what we need to do? We need to apply the integrability condition, right? Whether it is integrable or not, we will write this x, this y here and this z. I hope you remember what is the method to integrate it. p into the value of p is this. So, we will get yz plus 2x. Now, we will differentiate this with respect to z. On differentiating, we get x minus 2. Minus, we will differentiate this with respect to y, then this will be x. And this is minus 2 becomes plus 2. Clear? Similarly, we will do next. Q will be Zx minus 2Z, right? What is the next step? Q multiplied by R and we differentiate R with respect to X. On differentiating R with respect to X, we get Y. And this will become 0 in our case as Y will be differentiated with respect to X, so it will become 0, right? Minus what will we do? We'll differentiate this with respect to Z, so this will become Y. This will be 0 with respect to Z and next we will take R. This will become XY minus 2Y. Now what will we do? This is given, pay attention. Now what will we do? Differentiate it with respect to y and it becomes z. And we are getting 0 and then minus. Now what we will do? If we differentiate q with respect to x, it will become z. You can notice all terms are becoming 0. So 0 plus 0. Plus 0 is equal to 0. It means condition is satisfied. You can integrate. Now let's see how will we do the integration. It is very easy. Just follow the steps. You can see this yz and plus 2. x dx. I will write down the equation once. Look here, it is zx minus 2z dy and then plus xy minus it will be 2y and this will be dz, right? And here we are getting this. Now, whenever we get any such question to solve, first we need to check which variables are becoming separable. So, here you see this 2x dx is separating. Okay, let's take this here. Next, you can notice one thing here that is y is coming with z here, right? z is with 2y. So, here what will you do? Take minus 2 common. I can write this as z dy plus y dz, right? We'll deal with this later. Now, let's write the remaining terms together. yz dx plus zx multiplied by dy plus xy dz equals 0. Now, you can see students, what will we do? Pay attention. I can write this as 2x dx minus. This can be written as 2 of yz. Here, what we did? We left z and integrated y. y was left, z was done plus. I just explained this to you that here we get this as x, y, z. Pay attention. X was done, Y, Z was left. Did Y and left Z, X. We did Z and left X, Y. So, this is equal to 0. Now, we will integrate it. Its integration will be X square by 2. 2 cancels with 2. Minus 2 Y, Z plus X, Y, Z equals to C. We will get this as its answer. In this way, you can very easily solve this question. Let's look at the next question. What is being asked here? Let me tell you, this question can be solved very easily. The value of P is Y square plus Z square minus X square. The value of Q is given as minus 2 XY and R is given as minus 2 XZ, right? I know students forget this condition, so I keep reminding about it. So, we write X here then. 
this is y, this is z. Let me tell you the condition. We have already discussed that condition is p into. We integrate q with respect to z. Del q by del z minus this with respect to r minus del r by del y plus q into we will first integrate this r with respect to x, right? So, del r by del x minus and we will leave this term then we will get minus. Del p upon del z and plus this will be r. Now, what will we do students? We will differentiate with respect to y here, right? Minus we will differentiate. Q with respect to x, we get del q by del x equals 0. Let us check if this condition is being satisfied. When the condition is satisfied, what will we do? This p is y square plus z square minus x square differentiate q with respect to z and p with respect to y. So, their differentiation will be 0. This will be minus 2xy. When we differentiate r with respect to x, it will become minus 2z. Then we differentiate p with respect to z. So, p with respect to z, it becomes 2z, right? Now, students, what we will do next? We will check this r is equal to minus 2xz, right? Differentiate p with respect to y, it becomes 2y. Now, differentiate q with respect to x, which is minus 2, so minus minus plus 2y, right? Let us check this. It becomes 0. It will be minus 4z and 4, this minus and minus will become plus. So, 8xyz. If we look here, we will have 4y. And if we do this, it will become minus 8xyz, right? You can notice it is becoming 0 on cancelling out. What can we do in this? Integrate it. The integrability condition has satisfied. As it is satisfied, now what will we do? We will check. But the problem is that if you place x square dx here, ultimately y square dx and z square dx are coming. But when you combine y square dx with 2xy dy, it will be plus and minus. So, formula will not be formed. So, you will have to think a bit. What do we do here? This is the equation and I will add x square dx and then I will subtract this x square dx in this. If we do this, what will we get here? Pay attention, this is minus x square dx and this is minus x square dx. It will become minus 2x square dx, right? Let us separate this first. We will do it right here, right? So, we will get x square plus y square plus z square dx. This we get as x square y square z square. Get dx common minus x square dx and minus x square dx will become minus 2x square dx minus 2xy dy and minus 2xz dz will become equal to 0. We will get x square plus y square plus z square multiplied by dx take minus 2x common. It will be x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to it is becoming 0, right? Now, we will take this to the other side. When you take it to the other side, this will become x square plus y square plus z square dx is equal to we get 2x into x dx plus y dy plus it will be z dz. Now, here separate these terms. So, when I do this, it will give us dx by x, right? And I am taking this here. Below, we will get x square plus y square plus z square and we will multiply this two inside. This gives us 2x dx plus 2y dy plus 2z dz. You can see its derivative is coming above. Its integration is log x. Its derivative is 2x dx. We get 2x dx is 2y dy 2z dz. Then students, we will get log x square plus y square plus z square plus take constant log c. Hence, we will get log x is equal to this will be log. It will be c and x square plus y square plus z square log will cancel out. So, x equals c into x square plus y square plus z square. This will be the answer. In this way, you can solve this very easily. Now, this question is for the comment box. How much time did you take? Please let me know in the comments. If you want to watch older videos on differential equations, the complete playlist is available here. Please subscribe to channel. Thank you very much. If you are preparing for any competitive exams or you want to prepare with us, then link to download our Maths Care app is given in description. Thank you.